Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol VRAY. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So this here may look like several days worth of time. It's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame and does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a whole lot easier to see. Done this analysis several times in the past, so that's where these green lines here are coming from. But I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of them. They've served their purposes for now. Sure, they still definitely pertain to the chart. Uh, but from a presentation standpoint, I don't wanna risk causing confusion because there's lines and clutter everywhere. Uh, you know, So we'll just get rid of those for now. Because as of now, there's just an, an easier kind of way to judge the move. This right here being defined as the move where the price is essentially bottomed out is now just quietly and slowly kind of just grinding its way back upwards. So in other words, how do you measure the health of the grind? Well. The easiest way to do that is just to watch that purple line right there, which is the very famous 50 period moving average, keyword being moving. So as next week plays out, that line's just gonna continue to move itself higher and higher. And like I said, a very basic way to do it is just to watch the purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, well then stop and think about it. By definition, that would mean that the price is also moving higher and higher. And that's what you wanna see. As long as the price stays above that purple line, that implies that, you know, like I said, uh, you know, the, the bulls and the price is building higher bases and that's what you wanna see. Maybe uh, another visual way to look at it is it, for you builders out there and you construction people, if you just kinda look at where the lows have been over time, as long as that continues, or if you wanna picture these as stair steps. So as long as these stair steps continue to be constructed, that is the name of the game. That's how this movement is gonna just remain healthy from the bigger picture point of view. Now, as far as levels of resistance are concerned, nothing fancy or complicated here other than the fact of the party finally stopped today right up there at about $4.55. So $4.55 will be that key level. And then after that, essentially, yeah, essentially a miniature blue sky breakout because you look at that and the next level is not until up around 650, which is the 200 period moving average. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that if the price pushes above that, then it's going up to 650 within you know a couple hours. My point is that because of that nasty gap down earlier, it's just created a whole lot of space up here on the chart where there just isn't any other areas of uh, you know resistance or anything like that, which makes this a, a, an interesting setup going forward because there is quite a bit of potential for it to continue to, to grind its way back upwards. But all in all, um, after that nastiness a couple weeks ago, the price has slowly recovered back upwards and as long as it remains in that uptrend, that's what you wanna see. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm gonna to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.